I've long been a staunch supporter of Israel, but lately I've had my doubts. There's no more debate that citizenship in Israel is based on ethnic and religious identity, something that the U.S. has found undemocratic and troublesome in other countries. Here in the U.S., we ignore such things because of a shared cultural history with Israel, aggressive lobbying, and the need for a Mideast ally. Since Israel's passage of the 2018 nation-state law, a basic law that serves as a legal framework, only Jews are permitted self-determination. Extrapolated and taken in its entirety, under the basic law, only the Jews are entitled to the good things in society, such as education, housing, economic opportunity. This law is in opposition to Israel's Declaration of Independence, which proclaims equality for all citizens. The nation-state law insults not only non-Jewish citizens, but also anyone to whom democracy in Israel is important. The direct and indirect support of the American Jewish establishment is another factor in sustaining this undemocratic status quo, both in Israel proper and the West Bank and Gaza. In many ways, the nation-state law codifies the notion of Jewish supremacy, a problematic, bigoted idea for obvious reasons. The purpose of the nation-state law apparently strives to secure the power of the far right by making Israel less democratic, more Jewish, more tribal, and less representative. I would like to think that after all these decades, there could be some movement on this issue, both in the U.S. and Israel, but unfortunately, the movement seems to be going the wrong way. Until then, I'll be hoping for better days.